Right, as the kids head back to school for many this week, a new report finds more than 97,000 children have tested positive for COVID-19 in the United States in the last two weeks of July. Here in Austin, people under the age of 19 under make up nearly 2,600 of the almost 23,000 cases, about 11%. So it's no surprise parents, teachers, and medical experts are worried about kids going back to school into the classroom setting. KVU's Jenny Lee talked to a doctor about the things schools should be doing before kids head back to the classroom. The start of the new school year isn't far off. Some districts have already opened their doors like Thrall ISD, but the discussion about how to do that safely continues. Dr. Natasha Kathuria, an emergency this medicine physician and global health specialist, says there are guidelines parents can watch out for to ensure that schools are following safety measures. For instance, on school buses. Every child should be wearing a mask and sitting separately um, without sharing seats on every every row. Make sure the schools have mask and social distancing policies. Dr. Kathuria says starting those habits before school begins is key. She says check to see if the district has a self-isolation policy when someone gets sick. If any child, any teacher, any staff member of a school falls sick or has any symptoms that could possibly be COVID-19, they need to stay home for 10 days from when the symptoms started with or without a test result because there is a false negative with some of these tests. Experts say students should get recess time, especially in schools with older HVAC systems. Other guidelines to look out for, staggering lunch times and eating in the classroom. But Dr. Kathuria warns, if you have anyone high risk or elderly in your home, you need to think twice before sending your kids to school. She says COVID-19 cases remain high and we are not out of the woods just yet. Jenny Lee, KVU News.